Okay, we're going to continue, folks, to colorize this Porsche by cleaning up the layer mask that was created in our lesson on the color range command. What a layer mask does when used in conjunction with an adjustment layer is wherever you see white, folks, it's allowing that adjustment layer effect through to the background layer in this case, okay? Wherever it's black, it's blocking that effect. Let me show you what happens when I delete this layer mask. Now it's letting the entire hue saturation adjustment layer affect the background layer. Let me delete, let me uh, hit Control Z and back up a step. Now let me show you this layer mask in the actual document window by holding down the Alt key and clicking on it right here. There you go. Now you're looking at the layer mask as a grayscale image. Okay, the same way you would be looking at it in as an alpha channel in the channels palette. Now what we have to do to clean up this colorization is to get rid of these partially selected pixels. Let me zoom in by holding the control key and the space bar at the same time and then marking around an area I want to zoom into. Okay, these partially selected pixels here are let, letting through some of the hue saturation adjustment layer, but not all of it. It's based on 256 levels of transparency. If you remember in the Colorize lesson, that command will partially select pixels. And you can see these dirty pixels here were partially selected. That's why they're gray. Wherever you see black, those are 100% deselected pixels. Wherever you see white, those are 100% selected pixels. The gray pixels or dirty pixels are not letting the full effect of this hue saturation adjustment layer through to the background. So let's clean them up. And we do that, folks, by painting in black or white, okay? What you need to do is get the brush tool, all right? And then make sure you have white as your foreground color, black as your background color. And if you don't, hit the D key on your keyboard for default, and that'll select your default colors, okay? And then let's start out by painting white, okay? I'm going to increase my brush size by the right bracket key on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to paint white here. And where I'm doing that, I'm allowing, allowing more of the adjustment layer to affect the background layer. Now you don't have to work in this grayscale image. Let me show you. Sometimes it's easiest. Whoops, Control Z. If you go too far, you can just hit Control Z and back up a step. You can also work by hold down the Alt key and click right here. You can also work in the image itself, okay, and watch it be revealed as you work, okay. Now, right here, we're going to need to paint in some black, so. Let's change the foreground color to black by hitting X on the keyboard. All right, lower our brush size by hitting the left bracket key. And then we'll paint in some black. That's what we're doing. We're painting in some black here. I'll show you. You see? And go back and forth and just work on your image by going, switching the. Uh, foreground and background colors and just painting painting black and painting white changing your brush size going back and forth and cleaning up your image Okay, I'm going to finish working on this, and I will see you in just a moment. Okay, folks, about uh, three minutes have elapsed, and I spent that time painting in 
black and white working on the layer mask here it is you can see I got rid of all those dirty gray pixels and I'm letting all of that hue saturation layer where the Porsche exists through to colorize that portion of the background layer and there you go